Cars powered by electricity were being developed as early as the 1820s, but by 1914, gas power became affordable. In the early 1990s, legislative initiatives, improved batteries, and accessible methods of recharging made electric vehicles more marketable. Charging stations provide electricity to customers with electric vehicles. It's simply a matter of swiping an access card across the reader, waiting for the station to communicate with a cloud-based server to verify the customer's account, and then plugging the charging station connector into the vehicle. The charging station provides electricity to the charger in the vehicle. It can take one to six hours before it's fully recharged. The blinking light stops. Charging is underway. A laser cutter automatically slices through oxidized aluminum sheets. In a matter of minutes, the pre-programmed cuts are complete. A worker carefully removes the cut pieces of aluminum. Unused pieces will be recycled. Another worker bends the aluminum on a bending post. He places the aluminum piece in a bending machine. Then he positions the bent piece in a pre-programmed robotic welding machine. It automatically and quickly welds the pieces of aluminum together. The worker polishes the welded joints using a soft cloth to make certain they're smooth to the touch. Polishing away rough edges makes the finished face plate safe for use by customers. A worker assembles the painted face plate and the head of the charging station. He screws the face plate to the head and attaches the user interface protection, which is made of tempered glass. He places a flexible strip of light emitting diodes around the perimeter of the light diffuser. Different colored lights tell the customer whether the station is available and whether vehicle charging is underway. He then places the protector cap containing the light strip and the antenna on the head of the charging station. Next, he connects the various components housed in the head of the charging station, including circuit boards, the antenna connection, digital display, and card reader. He inserts the control circuit board, which has the central processing unit, the antenna interface, digital display, and card reader on the other side. He uses a flat cable to connect the 40 small connectors of the control printed circuit board to the power printed circuit board, which he inserts into the head of the charging station on top of the control printed circuit board. He finishes attaching the quick connectors. A worker seals the edges of the charging station head with rubber stripping to protect the components inside from the elements outside. He positions the aluminum backplate on the charging station head, and once that's in place, he attaches the charging cable assembly to the connector module. The worker slips the charging cable wires into the frame of the connector module and securely tightens them. Then he positions the connector module door against the frame that holds it in place. He attaches them securely to each other and, using quick connect connectors, he attaches part of the plug that links the charging station to the vehicle. To make sure everything is working properly, the worker tests the door sensor and the door locking system. His test confirms the sensor is functioning and the door locks correctly. He now attaches the connector module to the head of the charging station. Then he places the head of the charging station onto its pedestal base. Whether it's being removed or attached to a vehicle, one safety feature is that the connector is never energized when being handled by a customer. Once the charge is complete, the vehicle's ready to roll.